Hey, what's happening in the gosh darn world? It's March 31st. I'm Reagan the Doom Wizard in my kimono to fit the mood of Jesus, bunnies, and stuff. So slap that thumbs up and use the donation link below because knowledge and understanding will set you free. Biden, Obama, and Bill Clinton had a fundraiser with Queen Latifah, Lizzo, and Stephen Colbert. Pulling in $25 million in New York City, just having a ball and a biscuit. Old people party, apparently it was the most successful fundraising event in U.S. history. It's okay. You're poor, work harder, protesting does nothing. United Kingdom housing was the worst value for money of any advanced economy, says a think tank. And NOAA issues a severe solar storm warning. Northern lights may be visible in Alabama. A fast-spreading dengue fever spreading in Peru, causing state of emergencies from mosquitoes and high temperatures from El Nino. Chat GPT was linked to declining academic performance, procrastination, and memory loss in a new study because we're just dumbing ourselves, making it easier for ourselves. On a side note, procrastination might just be an emotional management problem, I read, considering you need to manage your expectations and beginning a new task, you often put things off to stave off shame and disappointment in your own abilities. Don Porleone, Trump memes explode as his bond deadline approached and was reduced because the legal system. Coral reefs are bleaching, but we knew this already would happen in a 1.5 degrees Celsius world. Monday was a year from when Trump launches campaign in Waco, Texas, and you can only Guess why he chose that location. Kevin Hart won the Mark Twain Award, but nobody cares. Personally, I think he's annoying AF. CEO of Boeing, Boeing is stepping down later this year, and the court ruled that Trump could post a lower bond judgment. U.S. awards $6 billion to back industrial emissions reduction projects like aluminum metals and stuff. The world is going mad, everybody's just running this way and that, and we're just ruining ourselves overall. In fact, Biden promising corporate tax increases has only reduced him in his record so far. He's a Nick tax cutter. He also sarcastically congratulated Trump on his golf course win at his own golf course. Luckily, Chick-fil-A will use antibiotics and radioactive chicken again. In Texas, a man changes his name to literally anybody else and announces a U.S. presidential run. Most Americans say there will be another world war in the next five to ten years, according to a new YouGov survey. France rose its terrorist alert to the highest level. Hong Kong sweat through its highest temperature ever recorded in March following the hottest summer on record. Temperatures on Sunday reached the highest during the month of March in the last 140 years, in fact, 160 countries and thousands of records were broken with the highest margins ever seen in climactic history in the past several days. Whew, have a drink for that. Netanyahu refer refused a Washington visit and even Trump said Israel needs to stop. Now that's saying something when a moron throws that out. FDA wants to roll back medications for abortion, I think. Mythopristone is one of them. And meat sauce. Meat sauce. Migrants detained last month grew at the border and for 13% up. 13% up in January. United States and United Kingdom says China in 2021 hacked them. Published in peer-reviewed journal Communications, Earth and Environment on March 21st, the study shows increasing global average temperatures, more intense frequent heat waves, and other factors already driving up prices of food and other goods worldwide. It shows that food inflation could increase, increase as much as three percentage points per year in the next decade due to climate inflation. While climate factors cause overall inflation to climb by 0.3 to 1.2 percent points per year. So basically you can't even live. Baltimore's key bridge collapses due to ship strike. Did you hear about this? You didn't know about it? Crews search for multiple people, mass casualty event, coal, sugar, coal, cars, housing, Goods, you know, you heard about it, right? And of course, Biden had to brag about it. Yeah, I've been there many times, drove over it many times, you know, this way and that, know the businesses, know the area real well, because he's not a narcissist. They're sending who's better than other people, because that's what they're about. They're all just about telling you how much smarter they are than you. They're sending 60 million to help, but 
probably take 10 years to rebuild, which we don't have. And that's $3 billion in losses for Baltimore's economy, 140,000 jobs. The place is already a dump. Okay, moving on. Ken Paxton, a top lawyer from Texas, is a criminal. Surprise. Mongolia's ex-prime minister bought New York City apartments with embezzled mining money. UN expert says Israel has committed genocide in Gaza, calls for arms embargo. I know many of my subs will be thrilled about this, and you know Julian Assange will not get extradited to the U.S. for now. Everybody should be telling the truth at all times. It would make life easier for the rest of us. The amount of hydropower generated in the western U.S. was the lowest it's been in more than two decades. Hydropower generation fell by 11% during 2022 and 23 year compared to the year prior. It's lowest point since 2001. Humans give more viruses to animals than they give to us. Study finds. Surprise! Trump is gagged again and decides to sell a God Bless the USA Bible along with his ugly $400 golden sneakers. It's a Bible. West Virginia governor vetoes bill expanding renewable energy to protect coal because profits. India to spend $3.7 billion to fence Myanmar border. Russia blames the West for ISIS terrorist attacks, which makes no sense. Somebody won over a billion in New Jersey for the Mega Millions. And Florida bills would purge state laws of climate mentions. The bill awaits Ron DeMoron's signature. would also ban offshore farms because we don't want to set panic and fear. 2024 Realtor.com housing and climate risk report found that more than 44.8% of the country's homes face at least one kind of severe or extreme climate risk from either flood, wind, wildfire, heat, or air quality. The total value of those homes was $22 trillion. According to NOAA, the U.S. has experienced 377 weather and disasters since 1980, causing at least $1 billion apiece. Without addressing the human toll, which we'll get into in a moment, cost of damages for these events exceed $2.67 trillion. The data and evidence is irrefutable. This is the direction that we're heading on. The latest scientific and peer-reviewed literature states that we're heading towards an apocalyptic hellscape world. It's not changing. We're not changing. We're not reducing emissions. I know you can still be in denial. Cognitive dissonance. You got it. But you're a narcissist, so you know more than other people. So just go along with your blind faith. You know more than other people. Scientists chronicle early stages of a supernova and meat sauce. Melting polar ice is slowing the Earth's rotation with possible consequences for timekeeping. We lose a second. But wait, there's more. Earlier this month, a sudden warming, atmospheric warming caused the Arctic's polar vortex to reverse its trajectory. The swirling ring of cold air is now spinning in the wrong direction. There's our science throwing us off, which has triggered a record-breaking ozone spike and, and could impact global weather patterns. So it gets worse. Everything is weird. But U.S. solar factories strike deal to produce made-in-the-USA panels from two companies in Minnesota. Forest fires spread in Mexico, at least four dead. <sighs> they lied to all of us. Big oil climate change lawsuit from suburban Philadelphia County. These companies have known as slings since the 1950s that their way of doing business was having calamitous effects on our planet. Another atmospheric river to hit California. And Sam Bankman Freed sentenced to 25 years for swindling billions with FTX crypto. Here's to you, Sam. You're going to not see the end. You're going to see it from jail bars. Paris prepares security for 2024 election. I said that wrong. The Olympics. It's a weird year. With tens of thousands of security personnel, even... From other countries because we need sports ball under the Eiffel Tower, fencing, arrows, and stuff. Beautiful city, by the way. It also smells. Philippine up stakes in China row with countermeasures to Coast Guard attacks. Great. Another war brewing. Let's have Ukraine-Russia thing like all over the world because of humans. In fact, Japan scrambled fighter jets on Tuesday to intercept the Chinese unmanned aerial vehicle in the Sea of Japan. First known operation by China's long-range spy drone. Everything is getting involved. And everyone. Netflix new show Three Body Problem makes a hit. How about everybody has a problem? Home Depot is buying SRS or something to make it easier to build homes for clueless morons. And Oregon has a right to repair law now. Federal government is recategorizing people of race and ethnicity after 30 years. Look how long that took us. 30 years just to reclassify human beings into 
boxes. Explosive hurricane season brews with 25 named storms. There's a chance the number of named storms tops the 2020 record. Children in utero during Hurricane Sandy bear an incredibly high risk of psychiatric conditions today. For example, girls who are exposed to Sandy prenatally experience a 20-fold increase in anxiety and a 30-fold increase in depression later in life than girls who were not exposed. Put that in your bowl. A new analysis says that the IMF average debt ratio in rich countries was on course to hit 120% by 2028 compared to 75% at the start of the century. So we're all in debt, broke, and on fire as Philippines Catholic devotees nailed two crosses to reenact crucifixion. We need to get the fuck out of here. That's what aliens are thinking upon immediately landing here. South Korea hopes new speed train links will boost birth rate so people will have unprotected yaya on their trips from the city and to rural areas. Sawfish in Florida are dying off, 28 gone since January. EPA sets strict emission standards for heavy-duty trucks and buses in order to fight CC because we're not an ecological overshoot. A bus crash in South Africa kills 45, but one survives. A stabbing soiree in Illinois leaves four dead. Okay, just a little bit of science since we got enough of that out. Long-term warming experimental results led by Northern Arizona University ecologist Andrew Richard found that even slight increases in temperature in the boreal forest can lead to significant reduction in snowpack. Published in the Journal of Geophysical Research Biosciences, so they re-enacted temperature changes in, like, greenhouses built around sets of trees where they could modulate the temperature, humidity, and other factors, wind, even slight increases can uh, have a reduction in snowpack. Zelensky says without U.S. aid, Ukraine forces will have to retreat as his income went up last year. Sudan says immediate action on hunger to avert widespread death. Peacekeepers injured in South Lebanon. Trump posts a video with hogtied Biden. Georgia changed election laws, which makes it harder to certify results because that's going to be a nightmare around November. Bill Lieberman died and Al Gore spoke for him, but nobody cares. Didn't Al Gore say we're all going to be dead by now? More conflicts and temperature records, broken and floods all over the planet. In fact, gas is up 24 cents since last month. South Korean's artificial sun reaches seven times sun's core temperature. The K-Star fusion reactor has set a new H-mode record by sustaining 100 million degrees for over 100 seconds. Canada's Niagara region has proactively declared a state of emergency ahead of the total solar eclipse on April 8th. Massive crowds taking selfies, falling off the edge. You know that story. It's going to be a lot of that. South Korea spending 100 in traffic. Price of cocoa futures has doubled since the beginning of the year, outpacing Bitcoin. Israel peace talks keep breaking down. Protests in London against protesters and anti-protesters. It's all a big mess. Nobody's understanding Japanese dietary supplements are killing people and injuring many others. Planting trees in the wrong places can actually contribute to global warming, so trees will not save us, in fact, they said, but a map identifies new locations that forests could grow and cool the planet, only in certain areas. France to send old armored vehicles and new missiles to Ukraine because they're fighting for their lives, and Putin signs a decree on spring military conscription. Back to climate, new study from Science Advances indicates that since 1979, heat waves are moving 20% more slowly and happening 67% more often. Pretty soon, it'll be 100% by the end of this decade. And the Great Smoky Mountains is threatened, as with everywhere else, from the CC, which is one of the most visited national parks in America. Last but not least, Amsterdam police give the all clear at Central Metro Station because there was a suspicious threat. Did you get all that? This has been What's Happening in the World, my second recording of this information. I hope you learned something and can live your life fully and present now. Control your impulses. Thank you for your time. Hit the like and subscribe. Use the donation link below, and I'll talk to you again. Have a good week. Ciao.